I'm so happy to be here today because we're just going to go through what's been happening in Clayton over the last couple of years. And it's really not so much a state of Clayton address as it is telling our story. And in Clayton, North Carolina, we tell our story every day in every way. Yesterday, I attended a uh, retreat with Johnson County Economic Development Board. And when we walked away with goals, I was so happy to see that the first goal that we'll be working on with a list of others was telling our story of economic development in Johnston County. Telling our story is the most important thing that any entity can do. And it doesn't matter if you're a town, if you're a county, if you're a civic organization, telling your story. Because the one thing that we have learned is that if you don't tell your story, someone will tell a story on you. So that's right, so be in control of what is going out. Uh, one of the very best investments that we in the town of Clayton have made over the last couple of years is a public information officer. And I'm not saying that just because she's here and she's phenomenal, but I'm saying that because we have already seen so much return on our investment. And not only that, but we totally got the right person for the job. And when we were sitting there interviewing all these people, came down to a few people, sent them out for an assignment, they came back with the assignment, heads and tails above the rest, Stacy Beard. You're just awesome, so we can't thank you enough. But nonetheless, you know, we are very, very fortunate to live in the town of Clayton, and people always say, what is the success of your town? Why are you so successful? And I tell you right up front, I tell them, it's the people. It is the people. You guys and so many more outside these walls are so amazing to Clayton, North Carolina in what you do and how you represent us and how you tell our stories when you go out in all different aspects of your life. So it's not anything that Art and I as elected officials do that make Clayton great. It's what all of us do together that makes Clayton great and that has without a doubt put Clayton, North Carolina on the map, not only for our state, but in the United States of America which is huge. Um, so we tell our story every day, and that's why people are always uh, thinking Clayton and thinking home. So let's roll that video. I'm Jody McLeod, mayor of the town of Clayton, and we want you to think Clayton. Think industry. Think recreation. Think music. Think art. Think culture. Think downtown. Think home. Think awesome. So once again, in 2016, the town of Clayton has experienced tremendous growth. And um, we're going to put up a graph here that shows a little bit about uh, the growth of the town of Clayton. And as you can see in our graph, it is just totally trending up, 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 which is fantastic. The last census in 2010 showed Clayton at 16,193 people. And we just received our new 2015 estimates, and now we're up to 19,300 people. Uh, Clayton <laughs> remains the fastest growing municipality in Johnston County, and our 10-year average annual growth rate is at about 5%, which is tremendous. Uh, not only have we grown in population, but we've also grown in size. So uh, over the past year, we've annexed over 50 acres into the town of Clayton. And of course, I don't know if you know, but in North Carolina, you cannot involuntary annex someone. It's all people coming to us to say we want to be a part of your town and we want your services. And you know people uh, in economic development say you know how much money are you giving to these industries to get them here? And I'm like we're not giving them a dime but we're promoting the quality of service that the town of Clayton can provide to you. Um, for, for many of you, uh, you, you have electricity provided by the town and some of you have uh, your electricity provided by another entity. 
uh, the other entity during a snowstorm could take up to four to five days to get you up and running again. The town of Clayton gets you up and running within 48 hours. That's the level of commitment and service and track record that we have. So that makes a complete and total difference. Everything incentive wise for a large company or even a small business doesn't always come down to how much money can you give us to help offset investment costs. Sometimes they're looking for that level of service that you can provide. It makes all the difference in the world. And it's one thing that helps us stand out from the rest of the crowd, okay? Uh, the town of Clayton continues to experience strong economic growth, of course, with our expansion in biopharmaceutical. Now, today I'm going to highlight biopharmaceutical, but I want you to know equally as much are small businesses that are coming into Clayton, too. And, and we don't always acknowledge and promote all of the small businesses that are coming into the town of Clayton. But I assure you they're coming in. If you're active with the Chamber of Commerce, you will see those ribbon cutting reminders coming up and coming up and coming up. So uh, number one, we're going to start with Griffles. It's the Clayton's, our largest manufacturing employer with over 1,600 employees. They invested $370 million and built the largest uh, advanced plasma fractionation plant in the world. They didn't ask for a penny to do that. That's how much they love Clayton, North Carolina. That's how much the Barcelona Board of Directors love Clayton, North Carolina. So in the Griffles world, there's Barcelona, there's Los Angeles, and there's Clayton, North Carolina. And you know, I, when, when, the, when the, I call him the godfather of Griffles, when he said that in Barcelona, I said, that just sounds so good, say it one more time. <laughs> Barcelona, Los Angeles, Clayton, North Carolina. <laughs> Then in March of 2016, they announced an additional investment of $210 million for two more additional plants that are going to bring 250 more, 250 plus more jobs. So Griffles is a wonderful entity for the town of Clayton. They tell our story every day all across the world. You know, our next biggest fan, I will call them, is definitely the Nova Nordisk plant. And you all know of the amazing announcement that they made with a $1.8 billion investment. And I don't know if you've had the opportunity to ride out there and look, but it is an entire city being built in a cornfield. And it is just amazing. And, you know, yes, kudos to Johnston County, kudos to North Carolina. Uh, yesterday, the facilitator, uh, who was very prominent in the United States, said, you really need to own and tell that story every quarter. It wasn't just about one announcement at $1.8 billion. It wasn't just a story about the largest single investment in the world in biopharmaceutical. But the story is how a rural county and a small town came together to hook that giant fish and bring them to Clayton, North Carolina. And, you know, I'm, it's like Art said, sometimes I got the right words at the right time. So when we initially met with Novo year, a few years ago, all the big dogs came who did not all speak English, but kind of knew English. When we finished and I'm sitting there with county commissioners and town officials and state officials, and I said, look, I felt like Lynn with Parker because I used the word boys. I said, you boys can go look all around this big, big blue marble that you want to, but you're going to come back to Clayton, North Carolina, because nobody wants you as bad as we do. Nobody has a track, re track record like we do, and nobody is going to be able to offer you around-the-clock services like we are. And my county commissioners were like... <laughs> But you know, sometimes you just gotta tell it like it is, you know? Look at the Trumpster. He's telling it just like it is, you know? Uh, so Novo Nordisk, the world's largest insulin maker right here in Clayton, North Carolina, will, bring, will be bringing us 719 new jobs. They'll be having a little over 3,000 construction jobs over the next five years. Um, challenges with that, a pretreatment plant, you know? Um, it's almost like what they discharge is honey, and we have to take that honey and turn it back into water in order to put it into the wastewater treatment facility. If we took the honey and went directly to the wastewater treatment facility, it would completely wipe out our entire operation. It would completely wipe out Johnson County's entire operation. Just one time of having the honey come through, the plant would wipe out everything. So it's been a huge challenge and it's something that we're still working on today and have meetings next week to you know, continue our work on this. 
but um, it's going to be super fantastic for everybody. That is, uh, most of the biopharmaceuticals do not want to be in the wastewater treatment business. So therefore, it comes back to the town and to the county to help those industries figure out what it is we can do to support them. And we are really making some strong headway, and that's going to be great news for 2017. Uh, our strong economy is also not just our two biopharmaceuticals, but it's the hospital industry. It's the healthcare industry that's coming to Clayton. And I think that is so fantastic because as a kid who grew up in Clayton, you kind of either went to Raleigh for healthcare services if you were in this part of the county or you went to Smithfield. And when I think about how Smithfield must have developed, you know, they uh, had a hospital and then all the doctors came in and the specialists came in and the nursing came in and the pharmacies came in and business and industry came in and the courthouse came in. And I kind of see that parallel story going to be happening right here in Clayton for us, you know. We're next in line. We're at the top of the list. So the amount of investment coming and professional health care services that we're experiencing in Clayton, North Carolina is phenomenal. <laughs> um, so all of those type of expansions are the type of expansions that have allowed us to become the economic entity that we are in, jo in Johnston County and in the state of North Carolina. I can assure you that as mayor over the last 13 years, every governor knows Clayton, North Carolina. Our last governor, Pat McCroy, knows Clayton, North Carolina. Our new governor, Roy Cooper, knows Clayton, North Carolina. We are on the map on the state level. Our General Assembly knows Clayton, North Carolina, which is fantastic because it really is all about being in relationship. You know, I can't say that uh, the General Assembly nor the governor knows every single town and what's going on, but we are in that spotlight and we are going to work hard to maintain being in that spotlight because that is what helps separate us from the rest of the crowd. It's what's helping us be so successful. Uh, let me see the ongoing uh, trend in supporting the tax base. So because we've had all this annexation, we have increase in our tax base, which is wonderful because you can't just run a town based on people's taxes. So that's why we're in the electrical business. That's why we're in the water and sewer business. Um, this increase in the tax base really gives us the flexibility to expand our staff and to expand our capital investment. Uh, as you know, in any small business, there are times where you need a new computer system or a new cash register or new employees to help keep things going. And the same holds true for the town of Clayton. Uh, so we're very fortunate that we have the revenue streams that allow for this growth. The growth is bringing in more money and we're able to invest more money to yield more good for the town of Clayton. Um, it means a strong financial position for the town. Our favorable uh, ratings with Standard and Poor's and Moody's. You know, that was an entire trip to go to New York City and to meet with Standard and Poor's and to meet with Moody and to tell our story. And I can tell you that uh, they were blown away by our story. You know, this is a company that is international and this is a company that has its eye all across the United States of America. This is a company that hears all kinds of stories day in and day out. And a lot of the stories that they hear are not progressive. A lot of the stories that they hear are sad, doom and gloom. A lot of the stories that they hear, hear yield lower ratings, but for Clayton, North Carolina, it's constantly an increase. They work really diligently with us to find ways <coughs> not to increase our ratings, and we don't give them one ounce of evidence that says you should lower us. Everything we provide, all the results show that steady increase in our ratings, which is great for the town of Clayton, and it's great for you as business people as well. Um, another extremely large boom in Clayton, North Carolina is the housing boom. And I'm sure that you've seen these massive apartments. I know, right? Yay! Uh, we were discussing yesterday, uh, Bob Satter, I I've been with Johnson County Economic Development Board for 13 years, so the rules say I have to go. So I have to appoint someone from the town of Clayton to be on that board. And I appointed Bob Satterfield. And I didn't even ask him if he wanted to. I was like, you're going to be the next guy in economic development. So we were going around the room and they were like, what's your goal for this year? And he's like, we still want a Chick-fil-A. And they were like, what? <laughs> yeah. They can't understand why you can't get a Chick-fil-A in Clayton. And the reason is because we don't have the numbers. You got to have the numbers. So all of this apartment complex building that you see going on is going to be a lot of adding to those numbers <laughs> to help us get a Chick-fil-A in Clayton, North Carolina. 
No kidding. Uh, property taxes in Clayton are 26.9% lower than the national average. That says a lot. That's a real reason to come to Clayton, North Carolina. And we're also ranked as the number two most affordable place to live in the state. That's huge. Um, so we're going to take a look at a, a video and it's going to tell us a little bit more about the wonderful growth we have in Clayton and the new places to live, work, and play. Right, Matt? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yeah. That's fantastic. And once you see a video like that, why wouldn't you want to live in Clayton? You know, they say the more you know, the more you grow. And I think that's definitely true in Clayton, North Carolina. We by far do not know everything, but every day we are learning. Every day we are crunching the numbers. Every day we're having visionary talks. Every day we are engaged in the town of Clayton. And we're engaged for the citizens of our town and for the businesses in our town. And I can't thank you enough for having me here today. Um, you know, back in the day, it would be a lot of verbiage. Nowadays, everything is a video. You know, more people are ADD than they want to admit. More people are ADD, self-diagnosed, unmedicated. <laughs> so, yes. So, uh, which they love at town council meetings, because I won't let you carry on for long, because I'm ready to move on. Uh, but a video is worth a million words. A picture is worth a thousand, but a video is worth a million words. And that's why it's so important for the town of Clayton. All of the videos that you have seen, they're like the top hits that everybody looks at all across the country and around the world. And I'm telling you, once you see this, there's no reason in the world you wouldn't want to come here and invest and live in such a great town as the town of Clayton. So once again, I want to thank you so much, each and every one of you, for what you do for the town of Clayton and for how well you represent us. It's an honor to serve you as mayor for the town of Clayton. I hope it continues for a long time, but I will tell you this, if there comes a day when they no longer want Jody McLeod to be the mayor, it's okay. I know I have left it better than I found it. And that's the key of a leader. So thank you for having us today. Thank you, Stacey Beard, for being with us. And uh, you guys are great.